So here I am, sitting on a cat tree, trying to see life from a cat's perspective. Oh, look, a cat. Wow, she looks big. Wait, I kind of let myself lost into the story. I forgot cats are small and we are big. I don't fit so well now. I think I will go back to my tiny version. And for the rest of the video, I will pretend to be a cat. I have a better view from a cat's level. So, let's take a look around. Wow, this room looks much bigger. Wait, here she comes. She is so huge. Well, I have to admit things look a little weird from this level. Seeing a giant placing food in front of me in such a manner. Hmm, I'm starting to feel important now. That's how it looks from this level. But I think from a higher level things would be even more weird. I mean, if an alien would take a look at this world without knowing anything about it, and if he would see the way humans treat their cats, he would definitely think cats are the ones who rule the earth and humans are nothing but slaves. But in the past, things were even more complex. Let's go a little back in the history. Uh, sorry, not here. A few thousand years earlier. In ancient Egypt, actually. Ancient Egyptians believed cats had divine energy and they were not only protected, but also venerated. And cats never forgot this. And how could they? There are theories talking about the genetic memory, telling that we are born with the memories and experiences from our ancestors, imprinted in our DNA. So what if cats still feel how it's like to be venerated? This would explain so much. But let's come back into the present. If someone from 1950 suddenly appeared, what would be the most difficult thing to explain about life today? A human sensor. I possess a device in my pocket capable of accessing the entirety of information known to man. But I use it to look at pictures with cats and get into arguments with strangers. So this is clear. Humans are cats slaves and I have to admit from this level things look so different. She's actually kneeling and cats are really carried to their food like they are not able to walk. You've got to be kidding me. This is a really huge bed. <laughs> Better say playground. How can you not play in such a huge and comfy place? And when you see these feet getting out of the blanket, it's like a call for playing. Enough to move half of a centimeter and the message is so clear. Hmm, I have to say, feeling this hand over me too often it can become really annoying. Now I understand why cats reject their humans sometimes. But come on, this might be helpful in some situations. For a man to truly understand rejection, he must be first ignored by a cat. Well, from this point of view, things are a little more funnier. Humans are taking cats so seriously, as if the cat is just looking at the ceiling without seeing anything. Okay, maybe a tiny insect that the human couldn't see. The human might think the cat saw a ghost. Well, I think I'll spend a little more time here, reading a mouse paper or playing some hairball. So, have a nice day.